Good afternoon. Welcome to the New York Times Crosswords Live. This is Deb Amlin, and I'm here with Assistant Puzzles Editor Sam Izerski. Good afternoon, Sam. Good afternoon, Deb. It's good to be back. Okay, so we have a puzzle today by Joe DiPietro, and if that name is familiar to you, it might not be, but uh, the last time we saw Joe, uh, he was collaborating on a puzzle that got a lot of attention because his collaborator happened to be MSNBC commentator Rachel Maddow, and a lot of people enjoyed that puzzle. It was it was an excellent puzzle. I was going to say, just by itself, it was a very fun right. Friday. And, yeah, uh, and it was you know, fresh, crunchy. There was a lot lot going on in that puzzle. And today, Joe is back with a Thursday for us that actually is very timely. And um, it's no surprise that Joe writes good puzzles as it is, because this is his, ready for this, 130th crossword That's for the lot. New York Times. Wow. Including some of his variety puzzles, like right. his puns and anagrams, which you should try out. I don't think he's, I don't think he's the most prolific published New York Times constructor we have, but he's definitely up there. He's up there. And one time, I think, this is the last thing I'll say, I think 15 years ago or so, he had a puzzle that only had 20 black squares in the entire grid. It was extremely wide open. Well, we have some people joining us. Everybody saying good morning. Hello. Hello Hello. from Athens, Greece. Uh, Ruth Shaw wants to know, am I supposed to do this in order? You know what, Ruth? No. Uh, we j- actually jump around, and the way we usually get started is by grabbing what we call the gimmies first. The gimmies are a- answers that you absolutely know with no problem whatsoever. And mine, let's see. Uh, I think the it was first one 66 was across 66 you got? 66 right down here was because I've been doing puzzles for a long time. We talk a lot about the aha moment when you finally get something and it sort of turns on in your brain. That's the aha moment. That was my way into the puzzle. What was yours, Sam? So my gimme, and this should sound like a broken record by now, but um, if you go to 62 across, just a little bit above it and to the right, when the NBA regular season ends, I have known Uh, for months now that the NBA regular season and the playoffs will begin in April. Absolutely. So that was my gimme there. I've been seeing on your social media that you are just (laughs) chomping a bit there. Let's march madness. I'm excited. Yes, absolutely. Uh, Let's see. Philip Mitchell uh, has joined us, and he says that nine down is red card. Let's Uh, Take a look at that He's one. also a sports fan, I see. Right, and not only that, but this is great because it eats up a lot of real estate, so it's a good head start. <laughs> Soccer penalty <laughs> indicator is, is yeah, I get very excited when we solve the long ones. Uh, red card. You've Terrific. got your yellow Thank cards you. and you've got your red cards that'll throw you out of that's the game right. if you and get one. That's right, and I, I learn something new every day when I solve the puzzles. Eduardo Gasson says hello from Turin, Italy. Welcome. Wow. Thank and you we have for joining us. Tatiana Akulic from... Belarus. We've got people oh from Greece. Uh, thank you for joining us. I'm from tour in Italy. My goodness. Okay, a lot of people are saying six across is so. One of my favorites. Ah, uh, we didn't not fool you here. General name on a dish. <laughs> yep. There's a veiled. That's what we call a veiled capital clue. The word general is capitalized here because it's at the beginning of the sentence, at the beginning of the clue, like most words are capitalized at the beginning of a sentence, but it's also capitalized because that happens it's to be a title. name. That's his rank. It's general a name. So. so general so, and that's one way that we, uh, that, that constructors fool people. You can put that title at the beginning and give it a capital and people think you're just talking about a general name not a general whose name is on a dish so so this uh, is an I'll interesting see. one deb i see that several solvers have been guessing gecko Ooh. for one across one across wow just go to oh. that clue first but tail shedding lizard now i'm not going to faint i don't find that I don't find that doesn't weird me out at all, you know. <laughs> but uh, I know you're familiar with it. So I was thinking gecko certainly could work here. It does. But I did know from a uh, one down. If yeah. you want to go to that, my checking my crosser here that a condo VIP is probably going to be a soup. Oh, S U P E. That I wasn't sure because that was not a form of the word that you hear quite a lot unless you're on the old one day at a time. Right, yeah. the guy, the guy who played the super, he might have been called a soup, but I don't, I, I've, I've never really heard that term used that way. It's before. a quick shout out to my soup who never answers my phone calls <laughs> when I really need not maintenance in bitter. my apartment. Okay. Nope, not at all. So it can't so we, be gecko there. No, it can't. Cross. But it's a, a tail shedding lizard that starts with an S. What could that be? 
Let's see if some solvers can figure that out. In the meantime, I see oh. that Tippy Fremont and Philip Mitchell have guessed that 12 down is air, yep. as in Jane Eyre. Jane Eyre appears in the puzzle quite a lot. Literary <laughs> governess. There we go. There we go. To all Thank those readers out there. That also, must have been a gimme. Laura Vielzef, uh, and please forgive me if I mispronounced your name, says 24 is Casa. Let's see. It looks like a good one because it does end in an A. So we have some oh. Spanish speakers here. Okay, un domicilio. Um, yes, yeah. Sp and that's a rule of crosswords, Spanish in the clue, Spanish in the answer. So if the clue here is un domicilio, what we're looking for is not the translation, but a similar word in Spanish, and that would be your domicile or your casa. There we go. Excellent job. Oh, I see that um, Joshua Geller and Sharon Gray have, and Eileen Ong have figured oh, out one wow. across. They Look say it's a skink. Okay, that's, that's going to be the one we're probably now, looking for. Now you knew for. this, didn't you? I did know this. I Tell once us had more. a, I once had a pet skink. He was a well, fat, blue-tongued skink. His name was Pee Wee. Aww. And yes, he used to shed his tail, so and, and, it brought and me back. Sam, Sam, today Sam is an assistant puzzles editor at the New York Times, so <laughs> you too can have a pet named Pee Wee. There you go. <laughs> okay. So uh, a lot of people are saying nine across is Rube. That looks right. Rube. Let's take a look at it. Wow. Yahoo. Tough clue. Yeah. That but it's is, a noun, like a total Yahoo. A total Yahoo is a total Rube. Yeah, they're both names Bumpkin. you would, might call somebody Bumpkin. And, uh, you know, it's Thursday, so the clues are a little more circumspect. For sure. Uh, they're not as straightforward as they might be on a Monday. Uh, let's see. Philip Mitchell says 16 down is boss. Let's see. Director. Yep. If you are the director of something, you're pretty much the boss. The there. boss, man. The boss okay. lady. Okay. A lot of people are saying that eight down is Oaxaca. I currently see Patrick O'Neill in our feed. We do have the O and the C already there. And yes, state, state borders that borders Veracruz. Veracruz. That's going to be it. Oaxaca. Okay, thank you for that. Excellent job. A lot uh, of people... Pablo H. Goldberg agrees. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. No, no, that's okay. Um, you, uh, you can call people out. Laura Howard says five down is knock. Let's see. Interesting, though, because I see Denise ah. Nelson says that five down is key in. Right. Now, here's why here's, why here's why that's a great answer. To enter, you might want to knock first, but that doesn't get us quite as far as key in, especially if you read the entire clue. So while that was a great guess, Laura, it's not right for today's puzzle, but that doesn't mean yeah. you stop guessing, does it? For sure. No, we always right. appreciate the guesses. That's well, why we're calling you out. Not only that, <laughs> but you don't finish the puzzle otherwise. You can't give up. Okay, we lost we lost uh, Stephen Hawking the other day, and one of the he had a quote that I absolutely mm. loved, which had something to do with not giving up. And he was somebody who really was, um, you know, the ideal of that. He he lived a lot longer than they predicted, and he went on to discover a lot of things. So we're not giving up on the puzzle. Oh. Okay, so to enter as a password is in fact to key in. Oops. Don't forget and, the last letter. You no, got to finish yeah, keying that one. I in. gave up. I'm sorry. <laughs> but unlike Stephen we've got, Hawking. Unlike Stephen Hawking. That's yeah. right. Uh, let's Thank see. you for including him in our uh, Thursday crossword discussion, besides. Oh, I'm you glad know we're what? paying homage to Stephen Hawking. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. <laughs> well, you know, a lot of people think that crosswords are just these plain little two dimensional squares and stuff, and they're not. You can bring a lot of things to crosswords. Reflections cro of our lives. Yes, crosswords uh, should be a little bit about everything. A lot of people are saying quattro. Let's jump down to Alejandra 41. Alejandra Frisbee, Merrill Hamilton. Ah, dos y dos. <laughs> again, once again, Spanish in the clue, Spanish in the answer. So... Two plus two, dosi dos, is in fact quattro. Very good. A nice, cute little bit of wordplay there too. You just appreciate that it looks like right, dosi dos. Right. You you might you could be square dancing, but you're not. <laughs> speaking of speaking of dosi dos, I did uh, buy some Girl Scout cookies yesterday. Did you really? Oh man. It is the season. I can't. I I can't. I can't even get started. See, Mary Cannon and Brian Edward are using uh, their crossings at seven down to guess scab. Where are we? Seven, seven down. down. We have the S in place already, so it looks probable. Union concern, absolutely, ah, is a scab, striker. absolutely. 
this has an interesting, these two entries, 14 wow. and 18, have interesting combinations. People are already saying, they're, people are guessing that the food item rich in antioxidants is in fact, an, is it an acai? I think it's berry? acai. I think it's acai three berry. syllables berry. technically. Wow. By the there time you go. find that in the supermarket, everyone's gone home. <laughs> um, okay. So uh, let's see. Wow. Nora Kirkpatrick Colmar has already got... 15 down. That's a nice long one. Let's let's see what that one is. Count me out. All right, let's put that in there. May as well. I'd, I'd rather, rather not. Talk about expanding our territory nice. here. That's great. Very well done. Brian Payne Duncan says 25 down is the wax. 25. It's all on your left. Far oh, left. Thank you very much. Del World War II females. And again, another rule in crosswords. If you're just joining us, abbreviations in the clues means the answer has to be an abbreviation. Yep. And we've got that abbreviation WW2. So the, uh, so the answer is WAACS, which stands for the Women's Army Auxiliary Corps, I believe. I'll take your word for it. All right, I knew the that. W, but that was about it. Right. <laughs> okay, so let's uh, let's many see. agree with Asai Berry, Denise Nilsson, Brian Payne Duncan, Caitlin Klaus, Sandra B says fifty-seven across is Teresa with the T, right Which above one? April. Where are we? Uh, fifty-seven, oh, 57 across. across is mother of Calcutta, right? Oh, absolutely. There you have it. Not not the literal mother, but the mother that we all know who worked in Calcutta, Mother Teresa. So E R E S. I like the Teresa's an anagram of Easter and oh, teaser. Oh, look at that. See, some people can just do that. I'm not a big anagrammer. <laughs> Catherine uh, Beckman and Laura Holland have figured oh, out 18 across. Very well done. Which was okay. my favorite clue in the it puzzle. It really was. By the way. Uh, one with oh. a no returns policy. That's just brilliant. <laughs> okay, we've got a question mark here, which means that there's wordplay in this clue. So one with a no returns policy could be... Uh, somebody who has a store and doesn't allow returns, or because there's the question mark there, we could be talking about a different kind of return. We're talking about a tax return, and somebody with a no ta returns policy would be a, a tax, tax dodger. dodger. Jinx. Uh, jinx, you owe me soda. Whoops. Okay, here we go. Dodger. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's see. Terry Delar Delargy, I... I I'm sorry if I mispronounce <laughs> you. 29 across is it, rife, rife. and 31 that. down is flits. Using your crossers oh well, Terry. Abounding. Excellent job. Yes, if something's abounding. And then, I'm sorry, which one? Using that F at 31 down knows that it's going like to be flits. like a butterfly flits. is flits. Absolutely. There we Thank go. you for that. Kimberly uh, Carroll, I think, is rounding out that top right there with 21 good. across. I like that. Glad Bar we're just finishing that part off now. Big nightlife environment. Bar scene. Bar scene. Absolutely. Yep. Excellent and this, job. That's great because now we have this whole corner done. Advocate is urge. This one I didn't know. Air-cooled machine gun is a Bren. I frankly looked at that and said I did not know machine guns were air-conditioned. But we, <laughs> listen, they, they, there's, there's, I, there's the a lot I don't know. The innovations of World War II. Exa thank God. Okay, but Bren is something. It doesn't come up a lot, but it's it's good to know for crosswords. You want to just check out the six down clue real quick? Because sure. we kind of glossed oh, over it, and man. this was a beauty. Okay, I could, I could just see you guys sitting there and laughing to yourself. It was Joe's clue. Pick on a peck, perhaps, is sounds like a tongue twister, but what... Peter you, Piper. Yeah, Peter Piper. But they're asking the solvers to shorten whatever you think of. So a picture on a pectoral muscle, perhaps, would be a tattoo. But a pick on a peck would be a tat. Correct. And I said it. Okay. I have a pick on my deltoid. <laughs> Thank, thank, thank you for letting us know. <laughs> okay, so uh, let, let's move on. All right, everybody. Uh, well, 33 across, I just want to call out Mary Cannon here for figuring out the eight-letter answer with just wow. the first letter. 33 across there. Come, come before. before. Well, you know, that's that's a ant yeah, an antecedent is something yeah. that comes before. But so my goodness. Ant, uh, this a, is the actual... It's just a good vocabulary verb. word. And <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Tough to get with just one letter. Excellent but, job. Yes, absolutely. Tippy Fremont says 37 is Ash. Is and the it? 40 across is ah. Ben. Okay. With 40 across, place for cinders. Yep, that definitely looks like it would be Ash. And then she said we've got... Bin. Oh, Ben. Okay, that so Ash good. Ben. Absolutely. I think that's more of a Britishism. 
Yeah. yeah, but it's good to know because once in a while they pop mm -hmm. up in here. It was especially tougher too because you know those cross reference clues. You once yeah. you figure out one, you can knock out the other. But sometimes it's tough to kind of envision it. You know, right. as those, as just one longer answer. Laura Holland is screaming Atali in us at nineteen across. I know a lot of you have been saying that. Uh, we're, we're just catching up to you. And here's a fun fact about me. Every time this word is in the puzzle, I type in it, Halia. Which is perfectly legitimate, too. It shows up fail. in puzzles. You would think I would learn, but uh, there's no learning here. Um, but it is et ali, bibli bibliographic catch-all. And, and it's what, it's what we get et al from. Exactly. I will say, though, that Italia with an A at the end is perfectly legitimate as well as an answer. You can okay. guess either one. You just got to wait for that is last letter. Is one a plural letter. of the other? I think one pertains to, like, a, it might be like a gender in particular. I'm not sure. Okay. Maura Minton Curcio says 48 across is Etsy. Let's see. One of my favorite places to shop. Uh, online market for crafts. Absolutely. That sounds good. And sounds look good. at that, Deb. We've got John M. Battle. Welcome back. Philip yep. Mitchell, Mona Lagarbo, all grizzled veterans they're here. All, they're all they leaving us. They know that 30 down is I'd better go. Oh, okay. Thank Please God. don't leave us now. Yes, though. it's getting late is definitely I'd better. Oops. G O. There you go. So we've got I'd rather not and I'd better go here so far. And notice... Notice, I think these are theme entries. They're probably... They're two of the four longest the answers in the and, puzzle. And they're going down. That's You don't usually see that. It's weird. A, a theme entry is typically going to go across, not always, mm -hmm. but today they happen to be f falling or going down. Let's, let's see what else we've got. Uh, I let's see, see Rahul Majumdar says with uh, with five E's on the end that 26 down is Ensu. Oh, boy. Okay. We're grabbing so our attention there. Yeah, well done. Come after. Yes. If something, if hel hilarity comes after, it ensues. Okay. <laughs> By the way, Deb, uh, Laura yes. Holland is actually educating us here on live that et alia with an A at the end is and other things. Whereas oh. Italia, Italy is and other people. That's good to Thanks know. Thanks for Thank teaching us. Thank you very us. much, Laura. Really That's, appreciate you, it. You taught the New York <laughs> Times crossword team something. Well done. Give yourself okay. a pat on the back. So we, we've agreed on and Sue Rodrigo Passos says 22 is kind. So let's see. Sorts. Oh, so this is like a noun, like sorts, like those sorts of people, those kinds of people. Oh, okay. Like types. Interesting. All righty. Well, Let's put that in there. Yeah, that's good. Fine, thank I like you. it. I like it. And uh, let's see. Kelly Sidkir, Denise Nilsson, Marilyn wow. Lanier Johnson. You guys are killing huddle. us. Laura Howard as well. Okay, Tippy 35 Fremont, across. My goodness. Let me go to that. It looks good. Yeah, where plays are discussed. Uh, I love this clue. You know, plays can be discussed in a theater review, but they can also, depending on the kind of play you're thinking about, could also be discussed in, in fact, a huddle uh, on the football field. Correct, correct. You got it. All uh, right. MN Donnie agrees with Huddle. A bunch of you, Mona Lagarbo, Caitlin Clow, have Incy at 32 down. 32. Just the very, all the oh, way over on the right, rounding go. out that Itty. last letter. Yep, Itty and Incy. Yes. Itty and there Incy. You go. They're both kind of I informalities like to mean little. Right. A lot of people are, are, are talking about the green of Austin Powers movies, and that is ah, definitely Seth that's Green. That's definitely Seth Green, I of also course. loved. I loved him, especially in, there was a little known IFC show called Greg the Bunny in the <laughs> 90s that I absolutely loved, or the early 2000. So shout out to Greg the Bunny. I love that. Check it out, Deb. Laura Howard has three down. Ooh. One of her other, what right. we think are theme answers. She that. thinks sounds, sounds like, like a deal. deal. Is, yeah, I'd take that. Yeah, absolutely. I would take that too. So I really like these there. theme answers. They're, They're all really, so fresh no and lively. They That's are probably great. why we accepted the puzzle. I'm sure it was. I, I don't know what they have to do with each other yet. I'm sure we'll get there. Let's see if we can finish up this court corner. Gut feeling. This was a cool one. I like wow. this because it has the question mark, and those uh -huh. those are my favorite clues. I have to say that I really do like uh, wordplay clues, and you know you can have a gut feeling that is an instinct or a premonition, mm -hmm. but you can also have a literal feeling in your gut, and that could be a knot. That's great. What I also really like about this clue too, uh, Joel Faliano, the digital puzzles editor, and I actually had a good discussion on this. We really like when. 
It's wordplay off a full phrase. Just like yeah. the, the, and the entire clue is just the simple gut feeling. Right, you know? right. And I it like means something just... totally different just the way it is. Okay, so not warranted. You know, at this point, I'm thinking that's got to be undo. There's Unless not you really can have undies else. in your singular. No, and which, it has nothing no. to do. That's really not warranted, Sam. Speaking of which, what is 17 across? <laughs> oh, 17 across <laughs> is potty mouth. There we go. <laughs> there you go. All righty. So then we have, let's see, times, time span, and hard and crunchy, maybe. Well, well this is... Philip Mitchell, um, Laura Holland, Brian Payne Duncan are all crawl oh, calling yeah. out answers not to that like, crosser. Absolutely. Yeah. That was okay. I, I, I'm i not sure not, I would have gotten it's, that like on its own, except I used the crossings. To I just me. hope I never have to use it in a sentence. Oh, yeah. But, no, me neither. <laughs> win some so, ways, some here in the see, puzzle. This smooth operator singer. A lot of people were shouting this out before from 1985 with Sade. I know Sam doesn't know this no, one. No, I do not. That's okay. That's, we'll, that's... Fill, we'll fill him in. <laughs> well, <laughs> we, we're going to educate Sam before all this is over. Hey, here's one in just a different part of the puzzle, Deb. Uh, uh -huh. Rich Trader. I don't think we've even called on him yet says that 53 down there right in the bottom Ooh, right left there. is germ Ooh, wheat okay. blank yeah i would not have guessed that right be, off the bank but i guess it could be wheat thin uh, germ is definitely the best answer well, here you know we what check it could be wheat all the wheat thins unless exactly. you're gonna, um, it, it's, it's it would have felt a, a little cheap you can't eat just one wheat thin you cannot eat just no. one week. Then. So let's let's see. Let's go down here and check it out. Ruminate to ruminate. I would say that's probably mull. Yeah, if you're mulling over something, if you're mulling Absolutely. on something, you're so ruminating. I think we're on pr in pretty good shape oh. with wheat. Germ. And here, uh, Joshua Geller, uh, right next door to Germ, even checks our mull crossing. Ah. Fifty-four down. He says it's Alu. Absolutely, in the, the famous four Alu baseball family. Players. Right, Diamond family name sounds like we're talking about a name that might be Diamond, but we're not. We're talking about baseball diamonds here so that's Correct. another way to trick people and we are in fact uh talking about the aloof family and and, if, and moises right in fact we have and i you may have helped me write this um 10 uh baseball names uh you need to know to become a better solver which is on the wordplay website and um, if you go to Wordplay on the New York Times website, there are a lot of educational articles. In fact, Sam just wrote a crossword aviary for us, which is fabulous. If you've ever wanted to know about all of the weird named birds that come up in the crossword puzzles, you should check out the crossword aviary. It's a lot of fun. Absolutely. If you guys want to know more about sports ball, check out uh, <laughs> Deb's baseball list too. We that's all have right. our own wheelhouses and it's totally okay not to know a few things absolutely. and to learn a new few At, things Well, that's crossword. The, that's the thing. Did you know a lot about birds before you wrote that aviary? Oh, absolutely not. No, but you learned. And I learned <laughs> a lot about who the Alou family was. There you go. Okay, so Peter H. Hellman's is saying 52 down is moles. Is oh, meals. A meal, sorry. I'm still on the, the last, last supper. Hmm. So that does work with that pattern. So I'd yeah. say it's a very good guess. But Let's... one thing that strikes me is that the last supper, e.g., wouldn't that, that would mean for example. Yeah. So wouldn't that just be one meal? Well, it would. And it also is looking for an example of something that the last supper was. And it was, in so fact, was meals. Meal, but... I mean, you could, you could get there from there. But let's see, let's, what I do when I'm not sure is I check, I check the crossings because That's that will call. help me. Okay. Yogurt choice informally. Let's see. Uh, don't really have enough for that. But How let's, about 64 across? Let's try that one. Oh, see, Sam, this is in your wheelhouse. Let's talk, let's talk about wheelhouses. Sam was an engineering major in college, so we're going to give this one to him. Arith arithmetic series symbol, Sam. Hit it. So that's going to be uh, one of our Greek letters here, folks. This one's going to be sigma. Sigma, which is the summation. Oops. Oops, sorry. Is the summation symbol, is that Correct, right? Correct, exactly. It's All the right. one that looks kind of like an E with fangs. Exactly, fangs. <laughs> okay, that's great. So I guess so, it can't be meals, but no. it's really, really it's close. close to. And it's it's the same thing as meals, but it's a different word for today. See, so it was a great guess. Ian Morris and uh, Karen Craig, Kathy McGowan all have it at 52 Okay. Down. Well, let's fill it in then. And like I said, even if you guess and get it wrong, come back exactly. again. Exactly. Absolutely. Come back again and try and, and use those crossings, man. That's how we do That's it. That's the only way you get better at this besides, right. you know? So the Last Supper is an example of a feast. 
Mm -hmm. And that means that this yogurt, which I don't think we had at the last supper. It could but, be no fat or low fat, ooh, though, That's Deb. true. I, I, I wait read my mind. I didn't even say anything. <laughs> um, so let's put in fat and let's figure out what this is afterwards. But let's see. We've got a lot of letters here. Frenzied trading floor, metaphorically. I knew this one because I had a lot of friends who See, were this was traders. actually new to me. I thought it was a really, really? cool term, but I've oh, never yeah. heard it. The bear, yeah, the bears and the bulls. Okay, so bear pit is where the tra uh, traders, you know, scream out their orders. And then Look means, at that pattern at 67 across. Oh, so that's got to be... It's got to be T-tops, right? Absolutely. Eh, Karen Craig you, knows the you're answer. Gonna, that's right. You're going to see that a lot in crosswords, so it's worth getting to Pseudo know. Pseudo-convertibles is certainly your Thursday clue, though. The exactly. T-tops were the types of roofs on those right. convertible so cars. Right, they, so they were sort of open, but not all the way. <laughs> I okay. like how many of you are chiming in with a bunch oh of exclamation God. marks. Right, Donna Hurst Tatsuki to call you out. and Mona Legarbo. Please, you know, and please, we we want to get to everybody. We really do, but Honestly. you you have no idea how fast the the comment thing <laughs> is spinning right now. So, but but alas, Donna and um, Mona, Mona have, have, have the answer. Yes, they, where they was got, that? It was the crosser down. there to yes. finish around out T tops. Uh, alas, regrettably. Thank you for that. Excellent. And job. Tess Borg also. Uh, agrees on T-tops. Rita Persaud agrees on Alas. Uh, Mar Mariela Loesa says 28 down is Deism. Wow. Okay. Let's right down the middle of the puzzle. Voltaire. Term, religiously. religiously. Now, Ooh. here, that's very close, but I'm going to explain so to you why close. the answer is a little bit different. Remember that tenses and parts of speech have to match up. There, We've talked about plurals. We've talked about language. But also a part of speech has to mm -hmm. move up. So if we're talking about someone named Voltaire and we describe him religiously, you are very right when you talk about deism, but he but himself is a, is a deist. deist. So they're S both T. nouns, I guess. Right. But, and, but you want to get as close to the matching the part of speech as you can. Keep in mind that the clue really should be precise with the answer when all is said and done. Right. You know? Sometimes okay. <laughs> having having trouble with twenty seven across. Oh, Ka Kadia Zaidi Rashid says bad at. She parsed it well too. Yeah, very good. If you're having, having trouble, trouble with, with something, you're, you're not. You're not too. You're stinking at yeah. something. Okay, here we go. Uh, Karen Craig and a lot of other people have said forty seven down is anemia. It's a weakness. Wow, that's interesting. Okay, ah, yeah, um, it's it is a it is a form of weakness, but it's a fairly it's a fairly mm -hmm. serious disorder. Um, the word anemia, though, sometimes yeah. can just be used as a synonym for a weakness, though, that, which is what yeah, that's, that's true. This clue. It if is something's a anemic, if if there's something is anemic, it could be weak. You're right. Joseph Benant and a lot of people before him have said forty nine across is ebon. I love that word. Black. Yes, <laughs> it's a Eben is a schmancy word for black. As and, in ebony. Right, exactly. Sometimes it's, it's a little more a, poetic. Exactly. Yeah. You would hear that more in, in poetry. But look at us. We are more, we're like halfway done. We're more we than halfway done. We haven't even really cracked that theme yet, But honestly. that's okay. We're going to get there because uh, you, this is a theme to be bewa to beware of. And speak of That's the devil all I'm here, gonna say. Judy Richardson has actually figured out 20 down, Deb. Wow. Check okay, it out. So let's, let's check out the clue first. There. I'd be... Yes, yes how, how nice, nice of you to offer. Oh, I'd be honored. Okay. I'd be honored. I will definitely... I'd be honored to type that in. Okay, H-O-N-O-R-E-D. I'd be honored. So if I'd be honored, I'd take that. I'd rather not... And I'd better go. So these are all like, you know, phrases that follow the same pattern. But how do we explain that in terms of know. a theme or some fancy some, schmancy reveal? Somebody else, and I, I'm sorry I missed your name, uh, said Natan Monolagarbo agrees on that. Uh, Hebrew name meaning he has given. And that would be Natan, absolutely. Uh, oh, somebody else had said, a couple of people, Philip, Philip Mitchell, Mitchell, have said, locks is sure bets. Now, how wow. did we get to that? Sometimes oh, in crosswords, you will see locks referred, especially in trickier puzzles, you'll see locks as wordplay for uh, tresses of hair. Mm-hmm. Um, it could mean an actual physical lock on a door. Mm -hmm. um, but in this case, if you have a lock on something, it's a sure bet. And that's how we got there.
UVA winning the March Madness there, tournament. Oh, there we Absolute go. Absolute lock. Come see, on. I shouldn't have I'm said, a total homer. I, should, I shouldn't have said that because now it's all going to come out. Feed the troll. Exactly. All right. So Nancy Caterino says 63 across is rolls dice. Let's see. I'm going to give uh, Kelly Sidkier and John M. Battle credit on that one, too. Okay. Rolls begins, dice. Absolutely. They've begins all been one's board game turn, perhaps, is rolls. R O L L S. Dice. Sorry, I'm a I social usually hyper hear today. that more idiomatically, you know, yeah, if you're rolling the dice on something. But you're sure, this flies. The clue yeah, saves it. So absolutely. I can see it. And when I've played a lot of board games in my time, and I've I've rolled a lot of dice. So uh, I think that's a perfectly cromulent clue. This is interesting, Deb. I'm seeing between um, or among Ian Morris, Karen Craig, Philip Mitchell, and Laura Holland to sum it up. They know that 36 and 39 down are cross-referenced. Suitable for two applications. So with 36 down... Is dual. dual use. Oh, uh, there we go. I really like it when, you know, when you don't go out of the way to do a cross-reference, but right. sometimes two nearby answers I, can I relate gonna, to one another. Right. I was I like them too, but I was going to hold off on this because I didn't want to, I, I don't want to uh, spoil the revealer just yet. Let's fair, jump down Fair, that's totally here. fair. Let's go back to All the bottom right. left. So, uh, 56 down is ahead, and that's, notice that it's two words, so it's not going to be... Um, when you're in front of somebody it, or ahead of them, it's going to be how much a twenty per cents head. Ahead. exactly. That would, so a good synonym for that would be each. There we go. Excellent and job. let's see. A lot of people are agreeing on low fat. Brian Atkinson is sixty across. One uh, of our nine letter answers. Brian, you're a friend of mine. I knew this too, <laughs> and and I had to explain to Sam who oh. who Elaine May is. Um, a new leaf actress and director from 1971, Elaine May uh, was one of a uh, one of the seminal comedy teams in the 1960s and 70s. She was actually a little bit before my time, but she and Mike Nichols were brilliant as a comedy team. They did sketches very much like. Um, Carl Reiner and Mel Brooks. They was around the same time, and they did a lot. And then eventually the two of them split, and uh, they both became film directors. Well, there you go. Thank you so, for that, Deb. My pleasure. Haiyan <laughs> uh, uh, Fong May agrees on Elaine May. And Meryl Hamilton has 34 down, but I'm not going to put that in just yet, I'm Meryl. Saving because that one. I'm saving that for last. John M. Battle says 55 down is y'all. Now, this uh -huh. one confused me. Group addressed in the South. Now, forgive me for this, my friends in the South, but I really thought that y'all was when you talk to one person, and when you're talking to a group, it's actually all y'all. Oh, no, I can feel no. Rest <laughs> assured there, Deb. Okay. I, I, I use y'all all the time, sadly. But uh. I wouldn't say I grew up in the South, but Virginia was just okay. enough where y'all sounds, sounds was y'all it's very very uh it's very much in my lexicon. Now we've got where all the cabaret shows are in song. I don't really know this song, but I'm guessing from the pattern of letters that the answer is Gay Paris. I want to say it's Cole Porter. I'm not oh, entirely sure. And we've got the sponge alternative. Wow, that was a what hot a clue for the New York Times. Clue. Yeah. Well, it's <laughs> only it's only tough if well, yeah. I won't go there. <laughs> um so anyway, we've got the pill is a sponge alternative, if you are in fact sponge worthy. And my Seinfeld friends will know that one. Uh Outlaws is bands. And now we're gonna get to the last we have square. One here. square left, Solvers. So Somebody, what's going on? People are talking about uh CTR, a hub. Uh, would be um, a CTR, but we're going to close the puzzle. And we're going to open it back up again because I want to show you something. This is really cool. So here we have congratulations. You guys absolutely killed it. We did it. solve it, but we want to know did. what's going on, right? Exactly. So, so now, what day is today, Sam? Uh, today is uh, Thursday, March 15th, 2018. Dave. Okay. So, but what's your point? But, but, well, the point is that you should beware the Ides of March. I don't understand how this relates to the theme. Well, let's take a look. Uh, when, if everybody knows Julius Caesar, beware the Ides of March. That was the middle of the month, the Ides. And uh, we have an Ide here. We have an Ide there. We have an Ide there. And we have an Ide there. So collectively, oh, we've got the Ides. Great. And that, yeah, date that Woo! provides a phonetic hint to four other answers in this puzzle. And that's the kind of thing... That's the kind of aha moment that I really like because it, it, the puzzle keeps its secrets until almost the end. 
I would never have expected this sort of revealer besides, because I'm just looking at, you know, just four idiomatic phrases here that you just say in your everyday vocabulary, and you're yeah. summing it up with something that this that's, day commends. That's something that a lot of constructors can <laughs> see, and Mary can't. Canon is. I'm oh. so happy that your your puzzle skills are so, are increasing. Thank you. Yes, if I was on Facebook right now, Mary Cannon. I would give that a like, a thank thumbs you. up, Big right? Thumbs up for me. Uh, <laughs> and yep, everybody's getting it now. See, that's the aha moment. The eyes have it. That's another. <laughs> that's another way of saying. Right. But yes, it is. It is the eyes eyes of March. Um, but we're really happy you guys could uh, join us here today. I don't know if you know this, but March 23rd through 25th. Uh, the, uh, Will Shorts is running the American Crossword Puzzle Tournament in Stamford, Connecticut. Uh, this is the tournament that the, uh, documentary wordplay was based on. I hope, uh, you guys can join us one day. You don't have to be afraid. It's, it's Please about don't. speed solving, Please but don't, it really, honestly, it really is the Woodstock of crossword solving. You just go to have fun and meet like-minded people uh come say hi please yes. please Sam will i be just there. want to say hi i'll be there covering it for I mean the new no york harm. times and uh, writing an article about it and there'll be all sorts of other media coverage and a lot of really really nice people puzzlers are just such nice people aren't they sam Abs i just think of it honestly when i go each year i just think of it as a giant family reunion Absolutely. it's not even about the puzzles but the puzzles really are all isn't. good i can guarantee right. that and rich Treda says i love this group self thank you very much fun and helpful thank you for showing up rich i mean you you guys are the ones who are brave enough to put your behinds in the chairs, and that says a lot say, about you. Thank, I, don't, I don't think we thank you all enough for uh, just you know shouting out answers. You guys are keeping us from just having to talk the whole time to each other. That's right. So we, um, would, we would just be talking. Yeah, we'd just be goofing around, <laughs> anyway. which we're doing anyway, admittedly. <laughs> right. But I mean, come but, on. But we love that, and we love taking the time to uh, sit down and solve with you once a from week from all over the world, yes. in different wheelhouses. It's so exciting. So thank you all for joining us today. We are here every Thursday for you newcomers at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. Come join us for our next segment of Crosswords Live just this very next Thursday. And, well, it won't be the Ides of March anymore. We look forward to joining you with another fun theme. That's right. Thanks very much, everybody. This is Deb Amlin and Sam Azurski for the New York Times. Have a great afternoon.